Man says for meaning of home. You know, what is home? It is made of brick or made of heart? You know, the first time that I did think about this question, when I was told by the immigration officer in the immigration detention center that I have been granted indefinite leave to remain in the UK. <laughs> Do you know what was my reaction then? <laughs> I am Kolbasi also. I am a life coach. But you can just call me Colby, you know, short and sweet. In my channel, I'm going to share some incredible stories of successes and also failures. I'm going to give you some tips, but most of all, I am going to give you just a gentle push forward to unlock your true potential. If you're new here, please do subscribe and also press the notification bell next to it so you're gonna be part of the communities you know let's get back to the story so do you know what was my reaction <laughs> tear just burst from my eyes when i was told that i'm granted indefinitely to remain in the uk i did cry uncontrollably for at least 20 minutes it could be more, it could be less, but you know, I could not tell the time passing because I was so emotional. But one thing that I remember, you know, the poor immigration officer was trying his best to calm me down, telling me that I don't need to cry. From now on, everything just going to be all right. He's going to sign up, you know, the paper for my release and off I will be out from here and to start a new life right here in the UK and I can build a new home for myself. Surely I should have been more focused on the fact that I have just been granted and definitely leave to remain, right? But if you have been an asylum seeker or a migrant, you will understand the significance of that. And the truth is that upon reflection now, yes indeed, I was given a new lease to start a new home, a new life. But these tears were accumulated and held back during many years of sacrifices and suffering, many years of rejections and anger, many years of fighting for my right and also for the right of other people, many years of acting strong even though I was not. But finally, I let my God down and be vulnerable. But the tears were also of the mourning of my dad and my beloved grandmother that I could not be there for the funeral. But above all, the image that came to my mind is this picture of this boy crying. But when I got myself out of that sorrow feeling, I realized that finally a country like the United Kingdom has accepted me. That was in 2005. But for the next 10 years, I did search for my home because I was constantly longing for home. I was a prisoner of my memory, I could say that. So what home? Well, it may not be what you think it is. Let me tell you this here. At the end of the fight against the COVID-19, when we are triumphant and also celebrating the end of the lockdown and normal life, it will certainly brighten our understanding of what home it is. After many years, of search, you know, I come to realize that a home is a place of return. A place when we feel low, we go to feel high. It is a place where we can be ourselves, where we can be silly, where we don't feel embarrassed. Before, whenever I am asked this question, where are you from? I always answer by my birthplace. But now I am hesitant in my answer. But I start saying, I am from London. And then I can see from people's reaction, certainly from my accent, that they may think, you may not be from London. Do you understand my question or something like that? And then I clarify the question. And then, you know, I will say, if they want my origin, I will say my origin. Otherwise, I say, I'm from London, I live in London. So that's what it is, and that's what it is. So what do you think my real home is now? Recently, I was speaking with my friend Jen, who is far from home, but also feeling home. And upon reflection, I really believe that in the beginning, my notion of home was corrupted because in my childhood, I was constantly in a move. I may also say that I am privileged because I have experience living in exile and felt stranger and unwelcome. So I know the difference that makes you feel to have a land of belonging. Maybe my memory of home is also tarnished by the 
three brutal years of experience of work in Chad. Maybe my memory play me a trick because of the five years of freezing cold as a student in Russia. But perhaps home is the memory of the only time I felt safe next to my uncle who always called me Tamabuta. You know, to bring to a close my case of understanding what home it is, you know, after 10 years, I took, you know, the risk to visit my birthplace, the place where I was persecuted, where I know that I may not be safe. What I really realized by being there, home is not what I thought it is. It is not just made of concrete or brick. It is not just a house or just a village or a city or a country. I felt home in my heart. I feel home whenever I am close to people I love, close to the person I became. Maybe home is our heart. The two weeks I was there away in my birthplace, I really felt far from home. I started missing London. I mean, could you help me with this question? Is it London my home now? But one thing for certain, this trip to my birthplace helped me to find the answer. As long as we are still in touch with our heart, home will be where we feel safe, where we feel love, where we feel important. What about your home? Have you found your home? If you have, you will find that everywhere in it is engraved love, peace, and joy. The blessing in the fight with the corona pandemic right now is that we are forced to think deeper of what really matter. To think about what we consider for long, our differences or our similarity. But in truth, there is no differences, but only similarity. All what we can learn from adversity, regardless of our abilities, are this. The strength to overcome any challenges, the eagerness to fight for our life, the hope to believe that tomorrow is going to be a better day, a resilience to lift ourselves up again, the love to serve other people and the joy because we are all triumphant in the end. Because if we look beyond our walls and see our home for what it is, certainly it will change and transform the way we see one another. In the end, we are all human beings. We are born, we live, and we ultimately die. Same journey for all. You know, no exception. My final conclusion is that to find a home, you need first to find your place in the world. But truly, home, it is about the people around you. It is the place that you call sanctuary. No people, no home. Please do like this video if you find it useful. You know, do share it. If you have something, do comment. And if you're new here, do subscribe. From me, only peace and love. <laughs> Bye for now, my friend. See you next time. Ha <laughs> ha.